Hello everybody, today we're going to be talking about continuous autofocus in the Canon menu settings and this might be a little bit confusing to a lot of people if you're jumping up from let's say shooting an iPhone and you're picking up your first mirrorless camera or if you're switching over from let's say Nikon or Sony or Fuji. In their menu systems, continuous autofocus means something completely different than what it means in the Canon menu system and that's what we're going to talk about today in this video. All right, so before we get started, I'm testing out two products in this video. One is the Sennheiser AVX ME2 lav mic system. I have it on me right now. I have my studio window open. I can hear people chatting on the street. I can hear street traffic in the background. Will this mic reject all that noise? That's what I'm testing. Review video for this mic will be linked below. And the other thing I'm testing is this massive, super bright. This is a GVM 650B Pro video light. They sent it to me for review. So I'm testing it out in a few videos before I actually make a full review video, but that'll also be linked below when it's done. So if you're interested in seeing those, definitely check them out. Hold on, jet flying overhead. I don't know if you can hear that, but I definitely heard a jet. Anyway, all right, so continuous autofocus. What does it mean? Now, you'll find this in the menu in the photo mode in the Canon cameras, not in video mode. It only exists in photo mode and it's labeled continuous AF. And when you turn that on, what happens is the camera, as long as the camera's on, will continually autofocus on whatever the autofocus point is set to. So if you have it on eye tracking, the camera will continually look for eyes in the frame. Even if you have your camera, you know, at your side or over your shoulder on your back or sitting on a table, wherever, as long as continuous focus is on and the camera's on, it's gonna continue focusing. So it'll look for eyes, or if you have spot focus, it'll just continue focusing on that spot. Or if you're tracking animals, it'll keep looking for animals. So obviously the downside to this is it's gonna drain your battery faster if it's on because the camera keeps doing its thing. If you turn continuous autofocus off, as long as you're not depressing the shutter release button or using rear button focus or whatever button you have set to start autofocus, as long as you're not touching any of those buttons, the camera will not focus. You'll save a little bit of battery life in that sense, but there's also some drawbacks. So if you're just shooting portraits in studio, people like that, slow moving subjects, fine. You know, you put the camera to your head, you hit rear button autofocus, you compose, take your shot and everything's good. But I find that when I shoot at live events like, like concerts or corporate events or weddings especially, by the time I put the camera to my face, the image is blurry, then I gotta hit the button, focus, and then push it down all the way. I don't like that process. Now, everyone's different. You, you can develop your own mechanics and your own systems for shooting things. Like maybe you already half push the button as you're bringing the camera up to your face and then you're already focusing and then you push the button the whole way. You can do it however you want. Uh, for me personally, I like to leave continuous autofocus on. I don't really care that it drains batteries faster. I've got five batteries, so if I'm shooting a wedding, I'm just switching out batteries. As soon as it gets down to one bar, I'm switching out and putting a fresh battery in anyway. And I can get through a wedding with probably two batteries, two and a half batteries, if I'm not shooting video. This is photo only. So I don't find that it drains the batteries too much. I'm not too concerned about it. I leave it on because when I, when I put the camera up to my face or I look through the, the LCD on the back, I wanna make sure everything's in focus right away. I don't wanna to have to push buttons to get the camera to focus so I can take the shot, right? I just want everything to look normal. So if you're used to shooting with DSLRs where you look through the viewfinder and everything's always sharp, <laughs> then continuous autofocus is probably something that uh, you wanna turn on. So that's just continuous autofocus in a nutshell. And uh, yeah, this is a quick little video talking about continuous autofocus. And that is it. This video is over. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you didn't hear all the street traffic and the jets and all that stuff overhead. And if, uh, if you didn't, then this mic is working and the noise rejection is absolutely awesome. And if you want to know more about Canon cameras, tips and tricks with Canon cameras, definitely subscribe to the channel because I do a lot of that kind of stuff on this channel. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace out. See you guys in the next one.